November 17, 1973. An embattled President Richard Nixon defends himself during the Watergate scandal. He tells the Associated Press managing editors meeting in Orlando, Florida. People have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. But Nixon resigns the following year when the Watergate scandal forces him from office. 1558. Elizabeth I begins a four-and-a-half-decade reign as Queen of England, ascending the throne after her half-sister, Queen Mary, dies. Under what's known as the Elizabethan Age, England flourishes on the world stage, from military might to exploration and trade to the works of William Shakespeare. 1869. In Egypt, the Suez Canal opens, a vital waterway connecting the Mediterranean and Red Seas. 1800. The U.S. Congress holds its first session in Washington, D.C., in the partially completed Capitol Building. 1917. Sculptor Auguste Rodin, whose best-known works include The Thinker and The Kiss, dies in France. He was 77 years old. And 1942. Whether I like it or not, I actually am the movies I've made, for better or for worse. However people understand them, they're who I am, that's all I really can be. Movie director Martin Scorsese is born in New York City. Among his films, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Goodfellas, Gangs of New York, and The Departed. Today in History, November 17th. Camille Bohannon, The Associated Press.